This is me, Mr. Dunn, explaining what to do for Year 8 Digital Technologies learning website. So, what you will need to do is go to your Google Drive, go to 9.menu up in top right where it says Google Apps, find Google Sites. So, it's a dark blue piece of paper, usually down the bottom. It may be somewhere else because you may have never used it before. In this menu. When you open it up it will bring you to all the Google sites that you have access to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you how to start off with a blank one and continue from there. So I'm going to go blank and then this gives me the home page the default look of a Google site. Now it does give you this lovely hint of, do you want to try a template, see how things go? You can do that if you want to, but I want to start off with naming my website, so I'm going to call it Mr. Dunn's Year 8 Digi Tech Version 3. Now that will be the name of the website and it will also continue on up in the top bar here. I'm also going to add that as my name of my website. Let's just change the size of this or on the banner. You can see it doesn't quite want to all fit on one line. I'm just going to take away version 3 because I don't need that. I can change the image on that header so I can upload an image, I can select an image. Now, you'll be looking at something that's relating to digital technologies, digital design. So you might want to actually sit there and Google search something. So I'm just going to go programming. So I'm going to pick the very first one there, just what's available. So that's what my banner is going to be on my homepage. So to start things off, I'm just going to add some elements to my web page. So on the right hand side, we have insert, pages, themes. We have text box images, embedded code and drive. Layouts and then other things we can insert into our website, like videos, maps, Google Docs, etc. So I'm going to start off by just doing a layout and I'm going to select this one here so it gives me two boxes for images with a heading and then some text for each and it's already given you this layout itself so if I'm just going to go add I'm going to select an image from Drive so I'm going to go with I'm going to insert this picture of classroom so I'm going to call this Mr. Dunn's Lessons. And I'm going to add another one here. Now you can search, you can just do a normal Google search if you wish. All right. You can upload your own photos, what's already on your Google Drive, etc. So I'm going to have here I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to write down uh, website hints and then you can add some text you can get rid of these boxes once one box is highlighted like it is here you do see there's that trash can symbol and it'll get rid of it for get rid of it if you don't need it and the good thing about the Google sites like Google Docs you can use control Z, you can undo, redo, things like that. So I'm going to write in here for Mr. Dunn's lessons. This is where Mr. Dunn is going to put his lesson videos. And then on the website hints, I'm going to change it and say here are all the things needed for 
the Viewery website. So I've added those things here. Now, you may not like that font or the way it looks, and so you can select it and then change different fonts that are available, colors, etc. You can also go to the themes. So if by going to the themes on that right hand bar, at the moment it's set as the default one being simple and that dark color, dark blue color. So I might go and say I'm going to pick vision instead and you can see automatically the fonts change. So I'm like, okay, let's go modern. My fonts are changed. Let's go purple. Can't really see any difference yet because I haven't actually added, well it's changed that top bar for me. Now, I'm going to stick with the bold and I'm going to pick the color of black to start off. So, all the menu bars and such are going to be a black color. What I want to do from here is this is just the home page, this is just the way it's going to look. I might want to add more things to it. And I can just do that by selecting somewhere I want to actually add something and then add it in. So I'm just going to add in, say, a text box and I'll add it to the next place down. You are able to resize anything. So if I click on this text box and then I've got these handles, you can see that there's these lines that come up in columns. And that allow us to actually adjust the size of the text box. So we can put multiple items on one line. So if I want to add another text box, make it a bit smaller, and you can see it's got a little handle at the top of the box, little shadow handle. If I click and drag that, it will allow me to place it in between or next to other elements. So if I put it here, so if I have a look here, I have two text boxes next to each other. So it allows you to design, move things around on your website as you wish.